inspired us to get into van life was actually when we were working on a vintage camper that we were converting to travel in and use for vacation. And once we started working on it, we realized it was a little more difficult to get around, hitching it up, and we kind of discovered so much more about van life. And so we loved the stealthiness of it. We loved that we were able to park a little easier and we loved the freedom that we could just up and go. So on the East Coast at my parents' house, we have a little more space than LA to be able to, to work and we were able to use all my dad's tools. And um, so we, we took that time, built it all out, and then we've been traveling for the last few weeks across the US. And it's nice having this option that we're able to stay quarantined in here, having our shower, having our bathroom, um, opt for outdoor activities, and uh, still be able to see the states. <laughs> yeah. Hey, my name is James. And I'm Deanna. And this is our 3500 newly renovated Ram ProMaster. So this Ram is actually a gasoline as opposed to diesel. It's a six cylinder. It is a 159 wheelbase and it is the high roof and it's very spacious. <laughs> we installed two solar panels on top, uh, 175 each, so a total of 350. And then we actually installed a Fres Air 12 volt uh, air conditioning, which is really nice. We actually put um, a fan in at first and then we discovered the Fres Air. So we switched out the fan and we were able to uh, sneak in the air conditioning and we love it, highly recommend it. <laughs> Welcome to the inside of our van. We love the layout, how we set it up. We decided on the sectional seating as opposed to a fixed bed, just because we do like to host friends. It gives us a workspace during the day to spread out a little bit and enjoy some nice dinners. So we've just loved being able to travel in this van. We feel like we have our apartment with us wherever we go. We feel like it's just such a cozy space, um, but still very functional. And so it's just been so inspiring for us to be able to create and dream um, in this van. And so it's been great. We love it and um, are really happy with that, how it turned out. So in the first area here, uh, we actually have a pull around curtain track that goes all the way around because we have a window in our sliding door. And so um, we found this uh, curtain track that actually bends to whatever shape we needed so it worked out really well to be able to have privacy all the way around and then we have our bathroom here uh, we decided to put the toilet in the shower so that we could use the door to have some privacy but the toilet comes out of the shower uh, to be able to use the shower so this is a laveo dry flush toilet we decided on this toilet so that there um, it's a lot cleaner system we don't have to worry about cleaning somebody else's tanks and so it actually works almost like a diaper genie where it has a cartridge on the inside a bag that twists around and then when you press the button it twists around and then like air suctions it back to give you a whole new bowl basically. We have hot water and cold water. So we have our water heater under there that we just turn on beforehand to be able to get the hot water. And then we also have our shower head that comes off. So if we need to rinse off anything outside, um, it's able to extend all the way outside and we're able to use that as well. We decided on doing uh, tile in the shower. Um, we know it's a little heavier and we want to take weight into consideration anytime we're doing something. Um, but to us, it was worth it just to have this statement um, right when you walk in and we love how it turned out. Especially with having such a small space, being able to take advantage of every nook and cranny is very important. And so since the walls are kind of curved, we knew there was some space behind this straight wall that we had here. So we decided to do a pop out for our storage instead of doing a rack that would take up more space in the shower. Um, and so we did the pop outs on, on um, other places in the van as well. And it ended up working out great. So we have you know, all that extra room. So welcome to the kitchen area. These are our kitchen cabinets that we have here. We hand built all of the cabinets, especially when we wanted to just have a custom space. It worked out really well and was a lot simpler than we thought it would be to build them out. We have our uh, black uh, sink here, faucet that comes out and we're able to you know, spray and rinse as well. We have our self-locking drawers here, so you just have a little stronger pull to be able to open them, and then they are on a soft close. 
So in the top here, we just have our utensils, our scissors, a, more of a catch-all for anything we need to grab quickly. Then both of these drawers are our clothes that we use, and we use our cabinets for more of our kitchen stuff. So our clothes that we use more often, we keep in these two drawers here, down here, and those are James's clothes down there. So then under the sink here, we actually have our shower pipes that come through here so that we could keep this wall nice and thin. So we have our, sh our shower pipes that um, come through. We have our drain that goes to our gray water tank underneath and then just extra storage. So up here is uh, more of our kitchen stuff. Uh, so we have like a few cups that we use more often. We have our plates. Um, and bowls with our liners in between so that they're not rattling around. A few of our seasonings, veggie wash, uh, olive oil, and uh, more of our, our grab things that we use more often. So on this side of the kitchen, uh, we have some more appliances under here. We have um, magnets on the doors that keep them closed while we're moving, but we have our espresso machine because Coffee is very important to us as well. <laughs> Big part of our lives. Uh, we have a ice maker underneath because we make a lot of ice coffees and extra storage for um, food and anything else under there. And then on this side is our fridge and a little storage above that. All right, so we have our switches here. This is our switch for all the main lights and they are on a dimmer as well. This is the switch just for the shower light so, um, so that we can have light in there, but then it's also nice at night if we just need a little light but we don't wanna light up the whole van. Um, we have the switch for that and that's on a dimmer as well. This is our antenna for our signal booster that we mounted here and then hook for keys and anything extra. We also have our main lights on a remote control. So if we're in bed and need to turn it off and on, we have this as well. So um, this turns it off and on as well as dims it. All right, so in here uh, we have, we store more of our toiletries or anything else that we need to grab quickly. Um, this is also where our hidden projector screen is mounted. So it's right behind here and it's stored right up in here so that when it retracts, it just kind of goes in here and it is hidden away. So this is the remote for that. So on this side, we have our pantry that we store our food. And on this side is more of our electronics, our drone, our camera, and then also the, we store the projector in here that magnetizes under here um, when we do have the projector screen up. So then we added this shelf here instead of doing the uppers all the way across because we felt like if we did the uppers up to here, you'd feel a little, you know, uh, like you might hit your head when you're walking in. So we decided on a rounded shelf um, so that we have some open space for books, plants, and anything else. So under here, we actually have our cooktop and our pa uh, pots and pans. And um, even though we had to make this step up, it actually added a lot more storage for us. So this is a butane cooktop that we take out and put on the counter. And we decided to do the portable cooktop as opposed to a built-in one, just because we don't have so much space. Um, we're able to keep the countertops clear when we're not using it and then store it away. Um, I mean, stored away, okay. <laughs> we're able to keep the countertops clear when we're not using it and store it away. So welcome to our living room slash dining room slash bedroom office. <laughs> um, so we have, uh, this is a completely convertible space here. Um, right now we have it set up with the table and we have our hanging cushions on the back here. We liked the style of it hanging. We felt like it gave it a little more of a modern look. And I know sometimes there's problems with the cushions moving around or the back cushion falling forward. And so this way it solved both things. And when we convert it into a bed, the table goes down, sets on top of these lips here, and these middle cushions come in and the back cushions come down and it makes it into a queen size bed. We have our table on a lagoon swivel mount so that it's able to swivel all the way around, move out of the way if we need it to, or move closer to us if we need that as well. So when we built the benches, um, we had a piece of wood on the back so that the hinge is a little further forward. So when we open the benches, having these hanging up instead of sitting on the bottom cushion here, it gives us a little more room. It makes it a lot easier to get into the benches and pull everything up. 
So we decided on this lighter floor because I love a contrast against things and we do we do love dark floors. We love black floors, but against the green cabinets, we didn't want it to just all blend together. So we really wanted more of a pop to match the ceiling. And so we decided on the lighter floors and then we loved the vertical wood slatted look. And so even though it was a little more difficult to do it in a van because there are the gaps in it as opposed to something fitting together, we were like, we'll, we'll make it happen. So we used foam board insulation underneath. Um, we spray painted it black so that it blends in. And then in all of the beams, we used uh, spray foam insulation and then um, attach these slats of wood straight to the metal beams of the van. All right, so welcome to the back of the van. Um, as you can see, this is actually a storage box that helps make the bed. We got extra stuff in there right now. It's just my tools and whatnot. But the cool thing about this is it actually can slide forward to that side. So if you want to change the direction of the uh, sectional couch, look out, we have that. Or if you want to take it out, maybe throw some bikes in there. It's also an option to have the walk there. So it's very versatile. We love that. So under this compartment, we have all of our uh, storage for the um, electrical system. We have two 200 amp hour batteries from Renergy, and then those power the system. Then we have your basic solar charge controller. We have a DC to DC battery charger. And then we also have um, a 2000 watt inverter. So basically we have the two batteries and then the two ways to charge them is our DC and is our solar power. We did have to build the floor up because the wheel bases on the ProMaster are a little higher. So if we just had the bench, your feet wouldn't touch. So it was kind of like a happy accident. So basically we built the floor up, but that actually gave us more storage. So we have a full drawer under here. And then we decided to build a cornhole <laughs> game because <laughs> we thought, why not? That'd be fun. So this kind of slides forward pop this up and then we got our bean bags in here we'll play a fun game of cornhole so that's kind of the idea behind that and then you can see the uh the drawer is just storage here and we have another drawer on the other side for our cooktop and stuff so and then on this other side this is where we store our scooters we have our two electric scooters which i highly recommend so basically this whole bench is empty for those scooters and if you're not using the scooters, it's great storage for anything else. And on the other side, we have our water heater. So we don't get in there much, but it's there. I think just having the option to be able to pull off and have our plans change whenever we want them to is something that we really enjoy. So there's a couple of times we got a little adventurous where we would just see a dirt road, start heading down, not really knowing <laughs> where it was leading, no signal. And then we decided to kind of, oh, this is where we're, we're gonna stay the night here and then pack it up in the morning. It was just really cool to just have the flexibility and not have to worry about, you know, all the public restrooms or have to worry about finding housing and stuff. We would just drive and then whenever we felt like sleeping, we'd pull over, you know, do our thing. So mm -hmm. yeah. really cool, really cool experience. It's definitely a different lifestyle than just living in a house. And I think there are so many good things and to us taking the time to travel on the road for a little while it's definitely worth those sacrifices to us i think for anybody that's looking into van life a good option might be to even rent one before they take on a big project or a build or a big purchase themselves because there's so many different layouts there's so many different vans and you can really see what how you enjoy traveling and what you'd be using it for my Instagram is Deanna Dunn, D-E-A-N-N-A, Dunn, D-U-N-N. -N, and then on TikTok, we're Deanna T. Dunn. And we'll be putting out more YouTube videos on our YouTube channel. It's James and Deanna Dunn. We'll be posting more tours and a lot of van build stuff, so. Yeah, and on my Instagram, I have highlight reels of all the behind the scenes of our van build. And we have a bunch of step-by-step -step videos that um, we broke up to show each step of the process.